Hello, good morning or good evening to everyone. Welcome to Mainframe Tutorials. So you're watching Mainframe Tutorials Rex1. So in this video I would like to share you a knowledge on Rex. So far I have been covering many tutorials like COBOL, CICS, GCL, DB2 and Visa. I thought of uh, uh, coming up with more modules so by keeping that consideration so I thought of uh, sharing the knowledge on Rex so this would be a completely free tutorials I would be uploading uh, more videos about the Rex from starting to ending onto the YouTube channel so let's go ahead and start with the introduction uh, to Rex so Rex is a structured come a high level programming language and defined as a restructured uh, extended executor language so it was developed by Mike Colisha and IBM in 1996. Uh, this Rex is mainly used for automation and it is used to learn, develop and maintain. It has various built-in functions so that when you, you, when you want to automate something, so you can use that building function. So for example, you have a data sets. You have a various data sets that need to be copied uh, copied from one data set to other data sets by giving a name. So you can develop, you can write an Rex code so which will automatically, uh, which will automatically copy the data from one file to another file. Or you can create a certain set of statements, uh, certain set of statements where you want to copy, uh, copy uh, just uh, give a specific command and uh, uh, paste it into your code code file. For example, uh, you have a job card. You might be having a job card where you want to write it to continue, uh, write it every time whenever you want to write a job, right? So using Rex code, what you can do is uh, you can create a statement or you can create a macro. That is, uh, we can create a macro uh, stating job card. And when you go to the, when you, when you go to the member, when you uh, to the JCL, just uh, type job card, then it will, uh, it will display all the, I mean, it will, it will get copied on the first three lines or two lines about the job card. So in the way, in, in the same way, not only these things, you can do many things. As I said, uh, example, example, like uh, create a macro create a macro for job card right so this is the example I told you just uh, just now so in the same way you copy a, a file copy a file from copy a file uh, from one file to another file so what you do is you will be writing a uh, JCL I mean IAFBR 14 or uh, I mean IEB general utility uh, where you will you will write a, a set of steps uh, to create you will give your input file and you will give the output file and you will execute your, your you execute your job right you will run your job so instead of doing such a thing if if the task is repetitive task so where you want to copy a file what you can do is uh, you can simply create a macro you can simply create a macro using Rex and uh, you can use that macro whatever whenever you want to whenever you want to copy a file so not only this you can create a panels you can create your own panels to copy a file or to browse a file to edit a file and uh, various other operations you can do so this is the two simple example I told you. So um, I mean, when we when we start programming, uh, I would be coming I would be coming up with more different different uh, uh, different scenarios of creating the macros and uh, how it will be helpful when you work on real time. So uh, not only these things, uh, if you want to create a uh, PDS files or if you want to create a PS member and everything, no need to go to the JCL and create a lengthy statements, uh, lengthy steps and uh, create these things. So simply you write a Rex code and create a macro. Just whenever you want to call this, just call it and you, your data sets or VZAM files will get created. So, or if you want to copy a file from one VZAM file to another VZAM file, just you can straight away use this Rex. That is how. That is why Rex plays a very powerful automation tool. We call we call mainly it as an automation tool or a scripting tool. So, 
that's the main advantage of uh, rex so it is easy to learn and it is easy to develop and easy to maintain i'm saying it's very very easy to learn it has various built-in function it has various built-in function that minimizes the length of the program of coding just you call that function and add it if you want to call a file just you add you there will be a set of functions to me to browse a file or copy a file and these things and uh, based on this you can create the macros and uh, we can develop panels as I said we can develop a panels and uh, various passing capabilities you have a macro you pass some parameters to it and it accepts it and give you the results it's really very very useful and it saves a lot of time for the developer once you write a it is mainly used for a repetitive task or recursive task where, where when you use day-to-day -day life so it is not a case sensitive no need to worry about these things okay we'll see I mean these are the key features or uh, this is this is a, since it is an introduction to a Rex so just I would be covering only a few points over here when we go into the details I would be coming with the various things how to declare a variables and uh, what is the structure and what is the method we need to follow and how to run these macros and everything so let uh, I mean in this introduction video I would like to tell you some sample program so we will add a two numbers so it is to add a two numbers pull input one we call it as a pull to extract the input and uh, pull input two sum input one plus input two say the sum of two values is sum that's it this is a simple program so in my next video I will be coming up with more different topics and uh, different techniques or different macros the way how do we use uh, Rex automation programming so thank you so much for watching this video I would if you like this video kindly please subscribe share comment on my youtube channel have a great and pleasurable day